Sarah Carter reveals the GOP is closing in on Dirty Dossier. Their latest move has Fusion GPS sweating by Amy Moreno for truthfeednews.com. The Senate is closing in on the Dirty Dossier and they're laser focused on disgraced DOJ official Bruce Orr. The Senate Judiciary Committee has been stonewalled by the DOJ regarding the interviews the FBI conducted with Orr. Now, Church Grassley, what is this? Senator Chuck Grassley, it's a misprint, is asking uh, for the uh, interviews to be declassified so he can get his hands on them. Sarah Carter, Senate Judiciary Committee Charles Grassley and House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes have been stonewalled since last year by the Department of Justice, which has refused to turn over interviews the FBI conducted with former Associate Deputy Attorney General Bruce Orr. Orr was demoted twice for failing to disclose his involvement with significant figures, including his wife associated with the unverified dossier from the now embattled research firm Fusion GPS, which alleged President Donald Trump's 2016 campaign colluded with Russia. The lawmakers say Orr's close relationship with former British spy and dossier author Christopher Steele is deeply troubling. Also concerning two lawmakers is the fact that even after Steele was, deter uh, was terminated by the uh, FBI, he worked as a source until he was fired for unauthorized disclosure to the media of his relationship with the FBI or continued to supply documents from the ex-spy to the Bureau. It is completely appropriate for Grassley to ask for these documents to be declassified. Lawmakers tell Sarah Carter uh, that the interview documents known as 302 should be declassified because they believe it will reveal the extent of Orr's involvement with Fusion GPS, his relationship with Steele and Fusion, uh, Fusion GPS, Owner Glenn, Glenn Simpson and his communications with FBI officials investigating Trump's campaign. Orr was one of the top officials at the DOJ and they told the court that they had terminated Steele, but Orr was continuing to meet with Steele despite his termination and then he was feeding the information to the FBI, said Nunes on Thursday. It is completely appropriate for Grassley to ask for these documents to be declassified. In February, Trump declassified a House Intelligence Committee memorandum which revealed information about Orr and his FBI interviews. According to that memorandum, even after Steele was terminated by the FBI, he continued to maintain contact with Orr, who was then a senior official with the DOJ. The memo also revealed that Orr, who also worked closely at the time with Deputy Attorney General Sally Yates and later with now Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, told the FBI during his interviews that Steele was desperate that Donald Trump not get elected and was passionate about him not being president. The House Intelligence Committee memo also revealed that Orr's wife, Nellie, worked for Fusion GPS in 2016 to, uh, uh, to assist in the cultivation of opposition research on Trump. Fusion GPS told CNN in December of 2017 that Mrs. Orr was a widely recognized scholar on Russia and that she speaks fluent Russian. The information of Bruce Orr's close ties to the FBI's relationship with Steele appear to be corroborated by testimony former FBI Special Agent Peter Strzok provided in July to the House Oversight and Judiciary Committees. According to Strzok, or gave extensive material to the FBI regarding the dossier, 
Some lawmakers believe it was Mr. Orr who gave the salacious material contained in former British spy Steele's multiple part dossier to the Bureau. The 12 important FBI interviews with Bruce Orr, the answers to the onslaught of questions about Orr's involvement in the Russia Trump probe, reside in approximately 12 of the 302s, Nunes said. The interviews were conducted by FBI agents from December 2016 to May uh, of 2017, documents show. Grassley and a limited number of committee members were given in-camera access to review some of the documents, meaning they could not take notes or receive copies of the documents that the DOJ stamped secret, according to the committee. In a July letter, Grassley stressed his frust uh, frustration, saying the departments insisted on limiting access to these documents creates unnecessary complications and burdens on the committee's oversight work, relying solely on memory of the documents or scheduling trips to the Justice Department for additional reviews and a poor, is a poor substitute for possession of actual copies. It thwarts the committee's ability to conduct a thorough analysis, compare the contents with other information, and take investigative steps to pursue related information. Here are the OR 302 interviews uh, requested by the committee according to an unclassified letter sent by uh, Grassley and Senator Lindsey Graham in February to DOJ Inspector General Michael Horowitz, who is expected to release his findings this year on the FBI's handling of the Russia probe into Trump's campaign. So this is what they're asking for. They can't go back and forth. If they can't even take notes, how are they going to put the information together? You know, uh, listen, we know it's all a setup. And you see, they didn't want Trump being elected. And that was the insurance policy, the phony dossier. And they relied totally on the dossier. How, much, how many times do we need to go over this? Just start arresting these creatures for uh, conspiring against uh, uh, the government uh, to uh, elect somebody that they wanted to put in place. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say? It's so obvious. Like, why spend all the money? Just lock them up. That's what I say. You've got enough evidence to, to, to put them all away. you got the emails. you got the 302, the FISA thing. Come on. Uh, you know, we have to go on and on about this garbage. They didn't want Trump in. They made the phony dossier to get him not to get into office so Hillary would take the place. And then everything would have been swept under the rug and their corruption would have continued on unscathed and uh, Hillary would have slowly sold out the country for peanuts and pocketed the money herself and paid off a couple of uh, patsies to do her dirty work in the meantime, the, the leg work. And she'd just be, you know, uh, ripping everybody off. That's basically, that's why she had her own server. She was doing the deals on those servers. That's why she bleach bit it. And she goes, what, with a cloth? Yeah, give, give it a rest, Hillary. Nobody's buying your crap. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.